Here we go. Come, Come fly with, with me. me. Let's fly, let's fly away, up and away. If you can use some exciting booze, there's a bar in far Bombay. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away, up and away. Come fly with me. Let's float down to Peru. In Lama Land, there's a one-man band, and he'll toot his flute for you. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Just say the word and we'll beat the birds down to Acapulco Bay. It's perfect for a flying honeymoon, they say. Come fly with me. Come on, let's fly away. Come on, babe, let's touch the sky. Come on, baby, let's fly. I'm Tim Burns. You're watching Oakland Connection. We're at downtown Clawson's Royal Kubo restaurant, and we've been enjoying a performance by the limited edition Barbershop Quartet. Now, can you guys tell me how long uh, you've been performing, what your names are? Uh, my name is Tom Blackstone. I'm from Rochester, and I've been singing for 22 years Barbershop. And I'm Jeffrey Doig from Wolverine Lake, and I've been singing Barbershop for about 19 years. Uh, my name's Charlie Perry. I'm from Milford, Michigan, and uh, I've been singing for two. And I'm John Kalashoff from Commerce Township, and I've been singing 12 years in Barbershop. Great. And uh, Charlie, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you guys met? Well, uh, we're all part of the uh, same chorus, the uh, Pontiac Waterford Big Chief Chorus, under the direction of Tom Blue. Um, and uh, I just kind of walked in one day, and um, a couple weeks later, Jeff approached me, and uh, we started the quartet. Um, we, as a chorus... We um, put on a, a, a large show in, uh, in the fall, okay. and uh, we also do Christmas sing-outs, and we do Valentine's Day sing-outs, and, and we do a lot of uh, community performances, a lot of community right performances. and uh, it's, 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 it's a lot of fun. Great. Well, you guys uh, sound like you're having a lot of fun when you're performing there. So, uh, Jeff, uh, why do you sing as a quartet rather than as a chorus? Well, Barbershop actually started with quartets. Uh, back in the 20s and 30s, it actually started in a barber shop where the barber would usually start out singing and some of the patrons would soon join in with different harmonies. Over time, uh, they refined those harmonies into the style of singing we do today. So even as we sing as a chorus, we like to go back to the old-fashioned style and sing in quartets. Okay. And um, what's unique about barbershop singing itself? Well, do uh, you want to grab that one, John? Sure. Um, we we uh, like to say that we're going for this expanded sound. I mean, there's just four of us singing parts, a baritone, bass, tenor, and lead. We all have to sing different notes, but if we do it right, the whole is bigger than the sum of the parts. If we can line up the pitches just right, then the overtones that we generate uh, come together and sound like a fifth voice or an expanded sound, and the chords just pop. And if we are doing it right, you should hear those chords pop. Now, it seems as if acapella has been getting more popular recently. Is that my imagination, or is there actually a growing trend in the music? There is a lot of acapella going on um, uh, with youth also in the universities and colleges and in the high schools. Uh, the Glee program has helped probably promote that. And uh, there's this TV series, The Sing-Off, that was pure acapella that uh, is going to be starting its third season next fall. Great. Now, Tom, um, where do you guys actually compete at? Well, uh, well the society, first of all, the society of barbershop singers has about 30,000 around the world. And we, the, the competition is always in the U.S. and Canada. Um, 
and there's courses that come from Australia and the UK and you know different places. Uh, uh, there's about 8,000. Usually, it's an audience of 8,000. That's quite an experience singing in front of an audience of 8,000 people. You know, right? I'm, I, I'm sure it is there now. Uh, in addition to competing, uh, do you perform gigs around town? We do perform gigs. We do a lot of uh, uh, singing for churches, and we do it for birthdays. And we'll we'll do some for like historical, like Mil. We did one recently in Milford for their historical tour, and it's just a lot of fun. It's a hobby for all of us. Great, and it's a hobby you're obviously taking very seriously because you're very great performers here. And uh, Jeff, um, yes. you know, I'm just wondering where are the uh, straw hats. Ah, uh-huh. that's a common misconception. Uh, of course, when barbershop first started off, striped shirts, straw hat. But the barbershop style really refers to the chord structure of our songs. And we try to do a lot of what's, what is called seventh chords. Okay. So barbershop is unique in the amount of seventh chords we try to put in a song. All right. So. Okay. And um, can women sing barbershop? Uh, yes, women have their, their separate... They had their sweet Adeline uh, society that, 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 that they perform in. But yes, yes, there, okay. there's choruses and there's quartets and, and for, for, for women too. But the uh, Pontiac Waterford, Bi- Waterford Big Chief Chorus is actually an all men's performance? Yes, it is. Yes, okay. it is. And uh, what are your normal jobs? Well, I'm just retired uh, from Oakland University. I taught in the biology department there. Uh, I manage the uh, manufacturing for a company in uh, Wixom. Okay. I'm a journeyman electrician. And I'm an insurance consultant. Okay. And uh, how, if someone wants to reach your guys uh, to maybe get a performance or learn more information, how would they do that? Well, if you want to go through the course, uh, we would normally go through the course website, and that's www.bigchiefchorus.org. Okay. And uh, that you'll find the quartets that we offer and you'll also find the chorus itself. All right. Well, thank you. And can we get uh, another performance from you guys? Absolutely good. All right. Wide-eyed wanderer 
that we got this Father's heart. And can you feel the love tonight? Tonight, how it's laid to rest. Ooh, it's enough to make kings and vagabonds believe. There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch that's breathing me out the dark Finally I can see you crystal clear Go ahead and sell me out and I'll lay your stuff bare See how I'll leave with every piece of you Don't underestimate the things that I will do there's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and bringing me out the dark The scars of your love remind me of us They keep me thinking that we almost had it all The scars of your love, they leave me breathless I can't help feeling we could Making home down there is mine that won't be shared. The scars of your love remind me of us. They keep me thinking that we almost had it all. The scars of your love, they leave me breathless. I can't help feeling we could have had it all. I am loving in the deep. Throw your soul through every open door Count your blessings and find what you look for Turn my sorrows into treasure gold Pay me back in kind and read just what you sow You're gonna wish you never had met me We could've had it all We could've had it To the beat, could have had it all. Rolling in the deep, you had my heart inside of your head. Made me, but you played it, you played it, you played it, played it to the beat.
Ben Burns. You're watching Oakland Connection. We're here in downtown Clawson at the Royal Kubo Restaurant. And we've just enjoyed a great performance by the Sweet Apple All-Star Chorus. Thank you, ladies. Great performance there. Can you tell me your names and what city you're from? I'm Haley Ryan, and I'm from Goodrich. I'm Krista Fitzgerald, and I'm from Lake Orion. Jessica McLean from Oxford. Jill Giordano from Royal Oak. Crystal Joss from Lake Orion. Alrighty. Kristen Cashock from Rochester. Aubrey Forsyth from Holly. All right, ladies, and can I have uh, Jill and Jessica come up here a little bit? And you're the most senior members of the group. Yep. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, Sweet Apple Performing Arts Company and your coach? A group of kids that all love to perform. We get together and we compete every year. We sing like um, any kind of pop, or we also do like some acapella stuff like you just saw. And we also do stuff with like karaoke tracks and stuff. Great. And I heard that you perform at different competitions around the country, including at Disney World and on Broadway in New York there. Mm -hmm. And uh, is it true uh, you're national champs on stage New York's competition for Teen Entertainers of the Year? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think it was last year in New York. Yeah. We got the um, Entertainer of the Year. It was a great award. It was an awesome year. Yeah, it was. Um, we're all very honored, you know, that, to get such a great award. And uh, what are the ages of the girls in the group? Um, the youngest is 13 and the oldest is 18. Okay. And if uh, someone's watching and they might want to join or they have a daughter that wants to join, uh, do you know how uh, they can get in contact with the group? Uh, just contact our teacher, Jocelyn Sweetapple, at sweetapplefamily at AOL.com. Great. And I believe you have a website too, which is jocelynsweetapple.com. We'll put that on, on the screen there. So uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what your future holds for you. Um, I'm going to Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm going to major in commercial music with an emphasis on performance. And did I have a little birdie tell me that someone might be uh, auditioning for a television show? Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm going to audition for American Idol this year. All right. Well, good luck. We'll be uh, hopefully looking for you on the big screen there. Thank you. So, And what do you have in store for yourself? I will be going to Ferris State University and majoring in music industry management. So uh, maybe we have an agent here for the performer? That's the deal. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we enjoyed that performance. And can we get another song from you guys? Yes. All right. Thank you. I'm Tim Burns. You're watching Oakland Connection, and we'll be right back after a brief message. In 1990, in Severn, Maryland, the daughter of a clergyman was discovered by a music industry insider while pumping gas at a service station. The odds of her getting signed and spending 11 weeks at number one on the U.S. singles charts? One in 19 million. The odds of this former church choir singer going on to sell 40 million records. One in 15 million. The odds of the same woman winning six Grammy Awards and starring in two Broadway plays. One in 75 million. The odds of this musician and performer having a child diagnosed with autism. One 
and 150. I'm Tony Braxton, and I encourage you to learn the signs of autism at AutismSpeaks.org. Early diagnosis can make a lifetime of difference. If a natural disaster happened and we were outside the home, we would probably all meet, I'll say, around the grocery store, you know. We would all meet at a bus stop. That is our meeting place. Well, we would probably just meet out in front of the house. Oh, uh, we'd probably meet at our neighbor's house. If you have no plan, then you can just plan what to do as it happens. I'm Tim Burns, you're watching Oakland Connection. We're here in downtown Clawson at Royal Kubo, and I'm joined by Shay and John. Thanks for being on the show, guys. Thanks, Thanks for coming out. Appreciate you making it out here for us. So. Hey, Shay, tell us a little bit about what's going on with Royal Kubo. Well, we're doing, uh, we do a lot of things. There's a lot of uh, entertainment here. Uh, the food is wonderful. John will talk a lot about the food. Uh, he, uh, he does understand it very well. So, um, and, uh, But we do a lot of entertainment. We do uh, uh, Tuesdays, we do acoustic Tuesday nights. Um, we do entertainment on Thursdays, different types of entertainment. Sometimes it's acoustics and you know, different things that you know, take place in. Okay. Fridays and Saturdays, we're very well known for our karaoke. Karaoke. Right. karaoke, and a lot of people come up, they enjoy it. We uh, mix it up a lot with a DJ so that it's, there's some good dance music mixed in between so it's not all karaoke all night where you got a little bit of dance music. And, uh, and it's really good. And we're, we're, we set it up with a little small stage in the, in the space where the people are singing. And so it's really, you're kind of centered in the restaurant okay. you know, with the food and the, the drinks and, you know, and just kind of a fun, enjoyable night. Okay. Um, and we're going to be starting to do Monday nights, we're going to be starting to do half off our menu so that people who haven't tried the food here will have an opportunity to come out and actually try it at a very discounted price. And it's, a, it's just a good Monday night thing, so you know, it's a good chance to come try it. The and type of food that you we're actually doing, have so. a unique menu because you uh, focus on Filipino. Filipino food, yes. Tell us a little bit about what the difference is uh, between Filipino food and other uh, types of uh, menus. Um, Filipino food is basically uh, it's a fusion of Spanish and Asian. It's a, it's it's a, um, you'd see a lot of tomato sauce based, mm -hmm. a lot of deep fried you know Spanish Filipinos we like pork. Okay. So it's a lot of pork belly, pork deep fried pork right. on the Spanish side, and then you'll see noodles, you'll okay. see egg rolls. All right, talking about egg rolls here, yes. what are these things? It's called lumpia. Lumpia, basically, it's pork, ground pork and beef mixed with spices, uh, rolled in an egg roll wrapper, and then deep fried. Okay, what type of dip is this? Here it's, for? it's like a plum sauce, like a sweet and sour sauce okay. that we make our own. And, uh, Okay. This it, is a it, Filipino they're, special. They're food, very right? tasty. They're very popular. Okay. Yeah. And what's another uh, dish we have from the Filipino um, uh, here? We have the. Uh, this is going to be the Asian side of it. This is called pancit. Okay. Pancit bihon meaning bihon means rice noodles. Right. It's actually rice noodles, pork shrimp and chicken, uh -huh. uh, vegetables, cabbage, carrots, celery. Right. They're also sautéed onions and garlic. Okay. Well, soy sauce and oyster sauce, and then right. Yeah, I see that shrimp and that cabbage. That just that yeah. smells great. Oh. Getting hungry watching us here. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to have some of that after the show. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, and what else do we have? We here? have now. This is from the Asian. No, I mean the Spanish side. This is the caldereta. It's called caldereta baca. Baca means beef. Okay. Caldereta baca. Um, it's actually beef. Again, so like onions. a tomato. Yeah, base? tomato sauce base, basically. Okay. It's sauteed with tomatoes, onions, garlic, tomato sauce, okay. bell peppers, green bell peppers, okay. um, carrots. It has. It's really rich in tomato. The taste is really. Okay. Uh, of course, a little and soy this sauce. is a traditional uh, Filipino type. These are all traditional, yeah, okay. very traditional. Are there any other uh, things on the menu that go uh, along with the Filipino uh, theme? Uh, um, it's for them to find out. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Actually, there's a lot, a lot of different things. Yeah. A lot of different. Okay, yeah. It's not going to be your typical Asian 
experience basically food. Yeah. Okay. It's interesting too is that what I, I've noticed is it's not overly spicy where some people don't like things too spicy. Right. And some, it's really just a good blend between like say the Asian and the uh, Spanish side. It really blends well and the, the food's, I mean it is it's I, amazing. I'm telling so. you, you know, our viewers can't experience this, yeah. but this just smells incredible. This is, is uh, yeah. look, making my mouth water <laughs> just uh, smelling it. I mean, I'm sure the taste is going to be even better there. So. Um, Tell us uh, if someone wants some more information, uh, where are you located at? We are on a uh, 27 East 14 Mile Road. It's in Clawson, it's in the corner of Maine, and uh, 14 Mile. Okay, and uh, do you have a phone we, number we, or website? Yeah, we have a Facebook page um, as, as well as in the phone uh, number, you can give the phone number. And, it's 248-588-2300. Uh, okay. And uh, if you Google it, you would see our menu online. Okay, and again, if someone wants to come for karaoke, what nights are that? Is that? Fridays and Saturdays. Fridays, Fridays and Saturdays. Saturdays. Starts okay. at about 9.30 and uh, till 2 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. And uh, now we do parties too. We have a lot of people that book parties here. So if you know people are interested in doing a party here, and you know dinner or some sort of you know special event or whatever, they can certainly get a hold of us for that too. We do do okay. we do cater to quite a few uh, parties as well. So well, we're we happy have to a, a great location here, and uh, we appreciate yeah. you being in uh, Clawson and in Oakland County. And I uh, wish you the best, and we really appreciate you uh, letting us use your uh, restaurant here for the location for this episode of Oakland Anytime, Connection. Tim. Anytime. We, we appreciate it. We hope you, you get plenty to eat there. So. <laughs> Definitely. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, thanks for being here. Thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm Tim Burns. You're watching Oakland Connection, and we'll see you next time. The scars of your love remind me of us. They keep me thinking that we almost had it all. The scars of your love, they leave me breathless, I can't help feeling We could have had it all, we should have never had met Rolling me Rolling in the deep, deep. these are gonna walk the deep Rolling in the you deep, you had my heart and soul But I've had one of you and I'm gonna make your head burn Think of me in the depths of your despair Making home down there is mine you won't be shared The stars of your love remind me of us They keep me thinking that we almost had it all The scars